turns out on social media, someone chose to clip part of my video and share it. And here is the clip that's been circulating. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. the actual attack. Uh, Bisha Month and is saying with that IQ thing, like Ben Shapiro, she does a lot of. Yep, yep, yep. Month and Bailey fallacy. Yep, exactly. She keeps switching. Uh, she says something and then people call her out on it and then she switch. She basically pretend that she said something else. Um, yeah, by the way, just so just so that we're clear exa why those countries are great is not because of their people's ethnicities, it's because of the values, because of the values and the ideas and the, it's because of secularism, it's because of free speech. Well, Germany could do better on that. But there are many because of the government accountability, because of democracy, because of uh, separation of church and state. Yeah, because of secularism and all that stuff. You know, again, those ideas have worked everywhere, everywhere. In any country that adopts those values, they become better, regardless of people's ethnicities. There are a lot of differences between the US, Germany and Finland. But if you ask a socialist why it is that Germany and Finland perform better than the U.S. in certain metrics, they'll say it's because the government is bigger and the taxes are higher. Mm -hmm. That is the answer to prosperity. Is that right, though? Are higher taxes and big government really the answer to Germany and Finland's success? It couldn't possibly be because they have overwhelmingly homogenous populations right? Populations that, by the way, also have a higher average IQ and narrower distribution than the U.S. does. I still... Oof. Man, every time I hear that, I'm like, yeah, come on, we know, we know, we know what you're talking about. I do agree with everything I'm saying in this clip, but I think it's interesting that this person in question chose to remove the context of the Gravel Institute video that I was responding to. The Gravel Institute video advocating for big government and trying to attribute Germany and Finland's successes to specifically their big government. Okay, even with your explanation, it still sounds the same. You're like, oh, they clipped it out and they took it out of context. And you're providing a context, and in the context you're saying, I was saying that big government doesn't make those countries bigger, better. It's the fact that they're homogenous people with a higher average IQ that they're better. So, yeah, even with your context, it still sounds the same. And their high government spending. Now, when Shu saw this video clip, her response was, Mixed race person living in Canada telling Americans they can't also have health care because America is too racially diverse. I am exhausted. So Shuan, Shuan had, she basically reframed what Lauren Chen said by saying, Mixed race person living in Canada. Oh, yeah. So by the way, Lauren Chen is Canadian. Uh, telling Americans. Okay, I don't like this. Telling Americans, okay? Where she, okay, Shuan had, you're an idiot as well. The fact that she's Canadian is irrelevant. People could comment on your country. If you don't have to be American to be able to tell America, yeah. I mean, yeah, you you guys voted for Trump. I mean, not you, Sean Head, but you Americans voted for Trump. So we non-Americans have every right to tell you anything we want about your politics. So this first part is completely dumb. I mean, your country, first of all, even if your country was irrelevant to the rest of the world, we get to comment, we non-Americans get to comment on anything we want. So what's your problem with that? Secondly, United States affects every goddamn country on the planet. All right. Your politics is the world's politics. Your, you know, we're, every, so... Yeah, we even if even if it was based on other people being affected. You, I mean, America is everywhere. You're you basically you're 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 influencing every goddamn country that is out there. So yeah, so this is this is complete BS. Mix mixed race. First of all, the fact that she's mixed race is also ir irrelevant. Living in Canada is also ir irrelevant. Telling Americans, telling Americans, Shuan had. You know um, how many American content creators, including the people that you admire, talk about other non-American countries and their politics? So yeah, go screw yourself. Uh, telling Americans they can't also have health care because America is too racially diverse. I'm exhausted. Yeah. So 
Half of this tweet was nonsense. Also, I don't think she said that they can't have health care. Lauren Chen was t wasn't talking about health care. Lauren Chen was talking about um, the American dream, which is the uh, American dream is mostly associated with wealth mobility. So it wasn't even about health care. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, not a good take by Shuan. Hmm. OK, so Dirty Dancer saying is mixed race irrelevant to miss Mrs. Homogenous? Well, Mrs. Homogenous happens to be a mixed race of people <laughs> that right leaning, far righty people think are on the top. So I can't, I don't know how to talk about this without getting penalized by YouTube. But God damn, Lauren Chen, look at it. Every, every single frame that I pause on, she's like, it could just, God damn, she's hot. Every frame. What? Oh my god. First off, I really do love being called a mixed race person. I mean, that is that is what my close friends and family refer to me as. So I just love when that can be brought to political con. <laughs> look at saying arm and focus. It's not easy. I mean, come on, look at her. I'm sorry conversations it's fun but also um i am not telling americans anything any more than i am telling german or finnish people stuff it's simply a conversation about the merits and detriments of big government as an american or whoever you can do whatever you want with that information and on top of that saying that a population is homogenous is not the same as saying that oh it's just not racially diverse <sighs> No, he didn't. I managed to focus enough to be able to catch that. Did you see what she said? It's not the same as saying that want with that information. And on top of that... So, like, guys, we're nine minutes in. We're, like, more than halfway through. And she's finally, finally touching on the problem with the video that everybody's talking about and she's been ignoring it she's been like framing 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 until now she's finally touching it okay and this is her excuse she's finally touching it and this is what her, what she's saying because she knows she knew that she can't ignore it that saying that a population is homogenous is not the same as saying that oh it's just not racially diverse come on are you serious Lauren? Are you serious? Come on. Come on. Come on. Are we going to pretend? Are we going to pretend that we don't know what homogenous means? Has, has homogenous been used? In, <laughs> come on. We know what homogenous means. We know what people mean when they use homogenous. Are you serious? Like, are we going to, is, is the audience even, is, 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 are your audience dumb enough to take to accept that? Yeah, Deborah's saying this is called backpedaling. At least be honest about what you're saying, right? Come on. This is not idea <laughs> yeah, ideologically homogenous. Come on, has that is this like you're basically pretending that James, you're saying like, yeah, homogenous means of the same time. But come on, we know what that means when people use homogenous. This is the, that's not what people mean when they talk about homogenous. Guys, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's used in chemistry for mixtures too. Depends on, guys, when you're doing, when you're talking about society, when you're talking about the superiority of countries like Germany and Finland and immigration and a higher IQ compared to a country like United States where they had immigration, homogenous people, refugees, like, come on, guys. Let's start. Are we going to, if you guys, if you guys follow right wing people and see what their talking points are and you go, if you're in their circle, especially if you go into the far right people, have have they have they people has that term been used like the homogenous like oh yeah homogenous and like they are homog like what similar in what other way 
the hole she digs it gets deeper. Exactly. Like at least because we know that she's like like she's being dishonest. I know that she's. Be I think you know nothing is for sure. But she in this okay, she's either being dishonest or she's clueless. And for somebody that is involved in right wing circles and probably has come across in her own comment section with a lot of far righty people, for her to pretend that she doesn't know what homogenous means in her circles, so she's either she either lives in a bubble. I mean, I can't understand how so a social commentator that is mostly associated with right-leaning people, how could she live in such a bubble that she wouldn't know what homogenous refers to? So either that, then she has no business. If she doesn't know what homogenous means to her community, then she has no business being a social commentator at, in any way. I, may, I would be miraculous that she's been, not been exposed to what that word means. So either that... Or she's a racist and she's doing dog whistling and she's pretending that she didn't. It's one of these two. It's one of these two. Okay, no, James, that is not true. That has been disproven. There's a lot more that goes into homogeneity. It's so, James, you're saying... It's correct that being ethnically homogenous has advantages, so I don't see what the big deal is. Okay, so even if you think that, then she's lying. Then, then say that, Lauren Chen. Just be like, so if you agree with James, then Lauren Chen is lying right now. So she, she, it would have been more consistent if she said like, hey, yeah, I was talking about ethnic homogen ethnically being homogenous. And here's why. Here's why as that's a good thing. But that's not what she's doing, James. She's she's pretending that she didn't mean that. Well, let's see. Let's see what actually if she actually does pretend that she didn't mean that. There's a lot more that goes into homogeneity, especially when we're talking about a socioeconomic issue like big government and poverty levels, economic mobility. Things Economic mobility, okay? Things like that. My video wasn't even about healthcare. It's about big governments. And I, I don't think I even mentioned healthcare once. Yeah, that's a fair point. Shuan Head is moron. This was an easy thing to criticize, and she, she screwed that up. But if you want to talk about healthcare, Shu, there is healthcare in America. You could maybe say there's not a universal <sighs> single payer system. Okay, Lauren, you're an idiot as well. Oh, yes, there's healthcare in. United States as well. What Shuan had was me what, what meant to say is that you, do, you don't get, you, if you can't afford, if there is healthcare, but you can't afford it, is there actually healthcare? She does, come on, Lauren. Okay, let's go back to this tweet. Hold on. You're both morons. Look at this. Where's the tweet? Okay, so Shuan had was saying, telling Americans that they can't also have healthcare. So Lauren is saying like, hey, no, Americans have health care. Yeah, but that's, you also can't, if you have health care that you can't afford, just technically having the health care, that doesn't mean that you, having the health care option in your country, that doesn't mean that it's accessible to you. That's what she meant. You're both morons. Saying that, oh, it's just not racially diverse. There's a lot Hold more on. that goes into homogenous poverty levels, economic mobility, things so, like that. My video wasn't even about healthcare. It's about like, big governments. And I, I don't think I even mentioned healthcare once. That's but fair. But if you want to talk about healthcare, shoot, there is healthcare in America. Yeah, there is healthcare. Healthcare that a lot of people don't have access to. God damn it, just because there's a, well, in that case, there's healthcare everywhere. You could maybe say there's not a universal single payer system. So when she's, she didn't say there's no healthcare in America. She said like Americans, you telling Americans that they can't, I mean, you didn't say that, but saying Americans can't have healthcare. She wasn't denying that there's actual healthcare in the United States. She was just saying that a lot of people can't have that healthcare. 
in America. But that doesn't mean there's no healthcare. Okay. She didn't say you're both strawmanning each other. Okay? Yeah, you didn't mention healthcare. She brought it up as brought it up as as if you said it. So she was strawmanning you, and now you're strawmanning her. She didn't say there's literally zero healthcare in the United States. Okay, there there is healthcare.